stuff. Uh, let's move on then to, uh, since we got P5 on the mic, let's move to a Boku no Hero. Chica, chica. All right, so we got Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 254, more than anyone, you were a hero. All right, so my big question to both of y'all is, do you guys think this is really important on what's going on with this guy? Um, well, well, I was going to say, for you guys who are at Vigilini, I would assume that it is. Right? Wait, well, say that again? Uh, I would assume that this is, this has a bit of importance and uh, and uh, it's kind of meaningful and it hits you in the feels if you uh, read Vigilini's. Oh, yeah. Because you get to actually see their backstory and all that when they were growing up. Yeah. Oh, I see. So this is this kind of plays on vigilantes a little bit then? Yeah, uh, the Shirakumo guy, they did kind of like a Kakashi Gaten thing where they kind of like went back in time showing Aizawa, present Mike, and Shirakumo basically being, you know, them three niggas, you know, the group uh, at, at UA. And then they was all going to grow up and be heroes, but then they got clapped. and Or they he got clapped. Yeah. Thank you for saying that, Player Five. Would you say that Eraser Head is the Kakashi of this world? A hundred percent. Like hundred yeah. percent. They basically stole that from Chicago or um, from Naruto. I mean, like obviously, Eraser is slightly different in that, like Kakashi was standoffish to everybody, whereas like clearly Eraser got friends. But it's like, oh yeah, hey, I put all my students through, you know, hell. So that, like, you know, you don't end up like my homie that got clapped, but then right. came back as a supervillain. Mm. Like, okay. that's exactly Kakashi's story. Now, if we find out fucking Eraserhead's dad committed suicide, I'll be like, all right, this nigga need to get sued for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um... But yeah, I got a couple things to pick. Wait, did I answer your question first of all, Jugger? Um, to be honest, uh, slight, that's a yes and no. When I was talking about it, more important, I meant more for the plot than I did for like the actual feels itself. Oh, yeah. Like, I was more curious as okay. far as to like, do you think him like, let's say, okay, let's say just for like the sake of argument, that a uh, homie does get his personality back. Um, he kind of moves on to the good side, et cetera, et cetera. Do you think that really matters as far as to like the big picture yeah. of the I, heroes being villains? I think this is almost probably the most important part of the picture. Oh. And the reason I say that is because they've been peppering in this idea since the jump, right? Like, I don't know. This was, man, so many chapters ago. But at the end of the chapter, they had a little thing where they were saying like, hey, you know, the wing Nomu that snatched up Deku got something to do with one of Deku's friends who have wings and it's like oh maybe these no moves are people and then now we see in high ends like oh these niggas got thoughts and now we see um i forgot this nigga name Kur Kur kurogiri oh yeah, yeah yeah we see kurogiri and this nigga like uh walking talking no move you know what i'm saying so it's like bro how can you now you can't punch these niggas to the moon and evaporate them because these are people now right like now these are, especially if you find out they can be saved, that changed the game because we was already like, damn, all these villains plus Nomu's about to run the Hero Society. Now add on to the fact like you can't even smoke the Nomu's. You got to save them. That just made this shit way even harder. Mm. He writing himself into some bullshit because I don't know how he getting out of this one. Ooh. Damn. All right. Good highlights. No, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, especially, well, that's, that's like the whole big hero v. villain scenario in the first place, right? That heroes, you know, can't really kill, can't really go all out because villains are still people too. And to really be a hero, you got to save and not really just do the job. It's all about how you do it instead of actually doing it. Yeah. So since they're throwing that factor on literally the strongest people. All right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Damn. So, I mean, if that's the case, I mean, we were already preaching that villains already got so many advantages with this, too. Yeah. yeah. Now they just make it absurd. Yeah. Wait, so I'm confused about something. Uh, Shirakumo, uh, as I was uh, homie, his power was missed? Like, was his power, it, 
what makes Kirigiri uh, what he is today? Is that what they were so, saying? So what Shirakumo, his quirk was like, he, he was basically like a, a Sun Goku type nigga. Like he made clouds and he could use those clouds to like grab niggas or fly on them and like shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Pretty decent quirk, especially in the My Hero world. And I think what they saying was Shirakumo was used for the base. So now it's like, oh, you got this cloud making quirk. All right, we're going to take that and make it dark and then make it also able to open up like portals. So it's like, you know, I could see where his his quirk is the basis for that cuz really Kirigiri like a big cloud making nigga if you think of his mist as like clouds instead of like just black mist now. Mm-hmm. So I I I, I can right. see where this makes sense. All right, so the current Kirigiri that but that is that not Shirakumo's body? I don't know. See, that's the whole thing. That's the part I'm not sure on. They making it sound like this is actually uh, Shirakumo, but we don't really know how no moves are made. It could be made using their DNA. It could be made using their full body. Like I just don't know enough info to call it, you know? Mm. Especially since his quirk don't really turn off, even with Aizawa staring at him. True. So it's like, right. It's, hmm. Yeah, it's, there's still definitely some questions there that are unanswered. Uh, or it's, I guess they're just slowly getting into it, I suppose. I'm curious, like, how far they're really going to uh, end up making, like, the origin of the Nomus. Like, maybe it's just, like, one... I, I don't even know, to be honest. Uh, they have, like, a couple options on how they can really get into it. Um, I think to summarize, though, that, like, final reveal of, like, the Nomus is probably going to be, like extremely dark like the, almost like the embodiment of evil granted they're like already so close to that in the first place by using dead bodies as a base to make them in the first and like at all you know yeah. um that are they really about to really steal from naruto and be like hey instead of uh, raising niggas from the dead no jutsu we yo, got no moves <laughs> saying, like low-key no move all so my incoming like yo no move all, all right, my so- really be a problem Oh no! <laughs> oh snap! Son. But I had question. Like, go ahead. If Eri were to use her power on a no move, what do you think would happen? I think it would fix. I think the person would fix. I think Eri is by far the end all be all to answer in most of these problems. But the writer basically hit her with a she don't know how to use her jutsu. Like, what can but, you so say? You said- so you're saying they'll turn back to a regular human. They wouldn't yeah. turn into a dead body, but a regular human. I think she can bring niggas back from, from the dead. Like Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I mean, to be honest, based so on like the bad alone, I mean it makes sense, right? I mean she, she, yeah, she turned her daddy into a sperm cell. <laughs> like, yeah, she did. If she can do that. Bro, she can bring niggas back to life. Because at that point, it's like, well, then what is life? Like, if she can reverse niggas to, like, oh, you, before you had your quirk, like, man, airy powerful, bro. Airy backpack 20, 2020, bro. That's all I want to see. <laughs> I mean, Loki, that could also be a build up too. I mean, we were saying, or at least, like, uh, what's been talk on, you know, the manga anime thread, that like Airy coming back would be equivalent to Muriel coming back, but what if it just like what if that wasn't the whole the potential that they're thinking of it? What if like that Airy really is the solution to the no move period? Might be. So, because like, like right now we really don't see a way that they win, and so like if you introduce Airy like oh we made basically with her consent more airy bullets but these airy bullets d no move people that would that would level the battlefield for sure right mm-hmm. um but yeah so i had a couple things i wanted to kind of point out that were interesting to me uh that weren't i guess uh plot related and so one of them which is cool when you think about what it implies one of them is uh the fact that there's a class 2A and they used to have Aizawa. Okay, so this means that one, Aizawa only teaches first years 
Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, his homeroom is always first year is like 1A, which means class 2A. That means that in a couple months, class 1A is getting a new teacher. Mm-hmm. You know True. what I'm saying? True. By the time that all this shit is over, class 1A getting a new teacher. Like, I'm excited to see that. That implies, like, you know, it's going to be different. I I kind of want to see what's going on here. And I kind of want to know more about class 2A now. Mm. Facts. Um, and then the other thing unrelated to the story, but still part of the manga, is the cover art was lit. Uh, I don't know if anybody like take, took a moment to stop and look at how raw it was, but basically it got the top um, 10 based on popularity votes. Uh-huh. Um, basically drew them in like battle gear. And it's lit. Like, I, Bakugo came in number one, and all of them got, like, they number somewhere on them. Like, Bakugo look hard as fuck. Um, I'm just surprised. Who was Buddy, who was buddy on the bottom the right, though? Thing? You said what? Who was Buddy on the bottom right, though? Well, you saying that's the token? Like, Sub-Zero. Who? Where'd you look? Oh, who are you talking about? Bottom right. Who are you right? talking about next to token? Oh, I must be looking at the wrong page, then. Who? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, no I was, I was in that page one. Cover. Not that one. The, uh, you gotta go down to where you got, like, all ten people. That yeah, dude that you're talking about is the main villain for the second movie. Oh, I see. Uh, I think it's named, like, nine or something like that. I don't know. Mm. But, uh, yeah, but on the other, like, the cover to the, to the manga, uh, it got all the top ten. And I'm just surprised that Shigaraki, man, my man made it to number six. Look at that. He went from bum-ass nigga to number six on the popularity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, when, when you take down the city, that makes noise, bro. You can't yeah. ignore that. People hearing this man, bro. His waves. <laughs> And I'm just, like, hurt that Froppy didn't make it. Like, let's be real here. We gonna all be 100. Um, yo, uh, Momo Yayarozu is number 10 because she wear damn near nothing and niggas is thirsty. There is zero <laughs> reason for this bitch to be in the top 10 other than that. Oh. Hmm. Trying to get to our highlights. Oh. Can I don't just, know. I mean, okay, wait. Well, I mean, when you say thirsty, you mean like thirsty for the body, or maybe thirsty for the mind, man? I mean, she is oh, a smart motherfucker. Stop. Niggas ain't worried about what she thinks about. They like, oh, small skirt, damn <laughs> nigga naked. Yup, she my favorite. Niggas tell me, yeah, she got a nice personality. Mm-hmm, yeah. Toga, Toga earned her spot. Motherfucking, um, um, uh. She earned her. She, nigga, she earned her spot every time we think about her dropping lock drop. Right? <laughs> or Baka <laughs> earned her spot. You know, she's starting to go hard. But but Yaya Rosu, bro, we know why she there. <laughs> You're right, though. Oh, man. You're right. Well, you know, that, but, at least, but at least it's not grape juice. That's all I say. <laughs> hey, 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 if I think the grape juice make it on one of these, y'all never not hearing about it. <laughs> but, uh, y'all better pray he never uh, glow up. Hard enough to ever even make. If my nigga make it top twenty, bro, y'all can't tell me nothing. Wow, <laughs> top twenty. Yo ass will not. He would not shut up about it. No nope. guarantee. I get that shit turned into a t-shirt. Wow, <laughs> like, <he's> number twenty. <laughs> mm-hmm. Stop. Like, uh, uh, yo, yo, ridiculous. <laughs> Got a curiosity F around. Um, but um other than that, little takeaway is uh they made my boy um eraser head cry and I felt bad for him. Mm. Um but yeah, we, we, we ready to rate this one or anybody got any other I guess Oh uh, at words least words on it. Not not hardcore. I mean this this chapter was pretty much all about eraser head and that was pretty much like the last chapter too so there's none any really thing like popping in the background that's really changed since the last time from what i recall so yeah i could rate it mm-hmm. grams you good uh i'm trying to go back and look at it once again because i thought 
that there was one point where they were saying that uh, that he was about to use his powers again or some shit like that, even while he was tied up. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no. I was like, wait, what? Uh, what happened? The only thing with that is that they were saying like uh, he he can't shirt off like this nigga gas face. Like he tried to shut that off and that doesn't work. So. Right, but no, but I thought it was I thought they were saying like quick before he uses his power or some shit. But I think I, I, I might have been drunk when I read it. <laughs> All right, so that's very good shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm flipping through it. I don't see that. So, um, but yeah, um, if I had to give it, uh, I'd just give it a decent. Like, uh, honestly, so far this arc has been weak, and I'm kind of upset because the writer and editor hyped this arc up like it was about to be the the new hotness. You know what I'm saying? Like, this the Frieza arc retold, the next great, and so far it's not seeming like it. Um, but I do like. Um, the little tidbits in there, like I said, story building, class 2A, uh, the fact that Shirakumo has been crossed over and so many other vigilante things cross over, I'm giving it an honorary canon, which means, you know, I'll fuck with that. Bring my nigga, um, the crawler into my hero, because he would have been a better one for all users than Deku. Hmm. Snap. Um... I'm gonna give it a well then we'll give it like a decent minus. Um for the simple fact that it looks like I needed a little bit of background knowledge for vigilantes to truly absorb the um I guess what can you call it, the uh, the intensity of the chapter. Um so it, to me as far as like just information goes, it was like okay. Uh, interesting to get some more information regarding Nomu in general, because I mean, I literally had no idea that like Kudogiri was a Nomu. So to actually like process that like he's on the same, well, not obviously on the same level, but that he is also a Nomu compared to, you know, what All Might faced up against, what Endeavor faced up against, and he's like technically the same, that's definitely a thought. Um, especially if like the future Nomu are going to have intelligence like Kudogiri. I mean, that, that again, like, pumps up, like, the quality of, like, how OP Nomus can really be. Uh, but as far as what to take away from that chapter, that was pretty much it. So I'll give it, like, a decent... Eh, yeah, it's, it's still a decent minus. Uh, I'm leaving it a decent minus. Uh, so, honestly, I didn't really care about the whole emotional part of it and so forth. And I guess I would have if I uh, checked out Vigilantes. But... Um, it seemed like it was a pretty mad chapter, in all, in all honesty. Mm. Uh, I don't think we really got anything juicy from this. It was just mainly a, oh, yeah, let's just go back in, back in time and, and recollect on, on the past. I do not think that they're going to uh, give us more of the other classes. So that's why I don't feel any hype for that. I'm um, talking about like 2A and, and more of like 3A and 3B, 2B and all of that. So... That's why I'm like, yeah, I ain't finna, I ain't finna fall for that BS. Mm. So that's why I think that's a, <laughs> got him. So oh. that's why I think it's 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 just a mad chapter. That just so I got to, a question. Do yeah. you think when our main cast becomes class two A, do you think that we'll get to see the new class one A or no? They just gonna keep it focused on one A and one B. And I think they're gonna give us a quick. Uh, they're, they're probably going to um, have them show here and there, kind of like um, how they just gave us like one short um, little uh, part with the little, uh, with the next generation, I guess you could call them, the preschoolers, how uh, how they have to like retest and take care of those kids or whatever. I think it's going to, they're going to be shown basically as much as those little kids where it might be like a, a one art thing or they might just pop in here and there, but not really have a whole lot of importance to the show. Yeah. 